Welcome to Puff Workshop. You know, oftentimes when I'm looking for a project to be able to do to share with you guys, I look around the shop for different fixtures or jigs that I might have that I haven't shared with you before. And today, I've got one such example. So let's get started. Okay, so let's take a walk over to this section in the shop and I want to show you a jig that I haven't used for quite a while. It's used to make picture frames and when I'm making picture frames, this is fantastic. And these are the items right here. Now this jig's been collecting dust for a while. So let me get this over here and I want to show you how fantastic this is. Now the first thing I need to do is just take some basic frame stock and cut it down so that I can uh, show you just how great this clamping jig is. Now this frame stock is actually just for demonstration purposes only. I actually made this quite some time ago and it's just been sitting literally in the scrap bin and it's not even finished. I don't have the groove in it to be able to hold the glass or the actual artwork but it will serve the purposes today because all I really need is just the the frame itself for the four sides to show you just how great this clamp is. And I just realized this, this jig to be able to cut the picture frames actually is another jig that I have never shown you. So this will be an upcoming video to show you how I made this jig to be able to cut the picture frames really, really easy. Now with all four sides cut, let's go over to the workbench and I'm going to show you just how effective this is. But first, I'm going to show you how I used to have to glue the picture frames together. It literally took four times as long to do it. Now the way that I used to do this is use a clamp like this. And I would be able to put one corner in at a time. I would be able to put the glue in this and glue just one corner and it would take me four times as long to be able to get this frame put together. But with this jig that I have, it's very, very simple. Now I want to go through the basic components of this because I'm not going to rebuild this jig. But it's really just two components. Now this middle portion here is six inches long and it is an inch and a half wide and it's just rounded on the ends and as far as the holes I've drilled a quarter inch hole through this to be able to attach the two screws. This other component I have it 20 inches. This is 20 inches long and it's also an inch and a half wide. Now these holes, these holes are all drilled at one inch increments. Now this bracket right here allows you to put the picture frame in on the corner and this hole of course allows for that corner to go ahead and slip through. You don't want just a 90 degree angle here. You need to have this hole. This second hole is a quarter inch in diameter and this is three inches by two and a half inches. So let me show you how this works. This is fantastic because it allows me to glue the entire picture frame up at one time. Now what's nice about this jig, all you have to be able to do is place this in the approximate location where they need to be sitting. Put this one in place. I think that's going to work pretty well. 
Then I'm going to go ahead and put the wing nuts on. And then I take just a simple clamp and put it in here and squeeze. Have to adjust that slightly as it's tightening. And I have everything clamped together. Now I can actually lift this up and hold it, but the nice thing about this, this now can be clamped with all four corners at one time. That's pretty amazing. Saves a ton of time. This is a jig that if you do a lot of picture frames, you don't want to be without. Keep this in your shop, guys. Keep this in your shop, and it will save you a ton of time. I'm going to put it back on my shelf today because I don't need to make a picture frame but this is an invaluable tool when I do. Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.